Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about freelance work and full-time work at, at the same time. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I was wondering what are your opinions about working in freelance projects while having a full-time job? And the short answer is, if you can find the time to do that uh, and you don't want to have any time outside of a full-time job then go for it but I should warn you as well so I'm not really sure what to like what to say here because I mean if you are such an industrious person that you can somehow find the time to have a full-time job and work as a freelancer at the same time and you want to do that then I mean to each his own go for it I would recommend you to take a look at other aspects of your life because uh, this might sound like a cliche but nobody ever died on you know died with a lot of regrets because they didn't work more if that makes sense like uh, achieving things is definitely something that you should go for it makes you feel happy and satisfied inside to make progress in your life but there's more to life than just working around the clock if uh, I, I hope that's not that you get what I'm saying there to each his own but really think about other aspects because it's gonna be hard for you to have any type of meaningful life outside of work if you're gonna run like several jobs like for in this in this case it's full-time jobs it's not part-time it's full-time but you can you can absolutely do that uh, the word of warning I would give you and the, uh, this is gonna be the same thing I told a friend of mine who was asking if I wanted to join him for a um, for a side project he had some friends who needed some help setting up a system and like setting some stuff up and I said the thing that you should know because he works full time as I do we work in the same team is that you think about software development and the process of software delivery and the above all else the maintenance of software as when you're dealing with a situation where you have two projects as 50 50 or something like that you may that that's a mental mistake you may think about oh you're just gonna clock in at work do your time there clock in on the other thing like your side project and then you do that thing until you clock in on, and you go back to like this ping pong thing you just go between the two things but the reality is different the reality is that there are unforeseen events or crunches sometimes where you have a very short deadline that just comes up from nowhere and if you have scheduled yourself in such a way is that you need to be in both places at the same time or you you can't really afford to prioritize one over the other then you're in a really bad spot an example would be if the system goes down uh, on your side project now if you're a freelancer and you're setting things up in a way where well there's not that high there, there's not that many expectations on you and you can afford to have downtime like say until you get home or whatever it could be then it's fine but imagine if you have a paying customer who will get really annoyed with you if there's something wrong with your code and then you're at work and they call you during office hours and you can't fix it you can't go back home or like well if if you can solve it you can solve it but that's something that you should be aware of that you know we have devops and operations people and people who work around the clock in some cases and have, uh, have like the responsibility to make sure that the system is always up because we can't guarantee that everything is always working and that is something that doesn't go away regardless of if it's a freelance project or if it's a full-time job like that that risk is always there and depending on how you position yourself as a software developer it you might be in a really really bad spot especially if you have like a paying customer who has a contract with you or something like that so you should be aware of that this can happen but if you feel that you have if you feel confident that it's low risk and I mean it's not that a big of big of a deal if something unforeseen happens and you can deal with it then I see no problem doing this whatsoever so what I want you to take away from this is that if you are looking to make some side money or you want to run a freelance thing next to your full-time job as a software developer there's no real problem with that you you can sh if you just be sure that you check any possible contracts you have because certain companies have 
restrictions on what you're allowed to do as like you can't compete with them and things like that so just so you don't put yourself in a position where they're gonna pursue legal action or something like that just because you have a contract with your full-time job and then you do your freelance thing as well so just just talk to them it usually is fine and apart from that always remember that when you are working with software unforeseen things happen so it's not like 50 50 that you can just do one thing and then go over and do the other thing because sometimes something happens and you need to prioritize one of the two and that becomes really tricky if you're locked down at work and something goes wrong with the other system and you have to fix it or something like that and you have no way of getting away to do that so really think about that thing and lastly try to remember guys that software development is great it's super fun and it's a very rewarding career but there are many other things that are going on as well so don't forget to live a little as well have a great day